Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, we're gonna take a look at AWS Audit Manager. So if you're not comfortable with uh, launching this because it's one of those services that uh, you turn on, you can forget about, you can just watch here. But I'm gonna turn it on and see what kind of information we can get here. But the idea is that it continuously audits your AWS usage. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna get out of this because it might have to run for a while to find out. But let's take a look at what we have to do. So to get started, select data encryption preferences for your multiple account support. Um, okay, we need this role here. Uh -huh. Okay, so, I mean, if it's config, should be configured. I'm gonna switch this over to US East, um, just because I, I have more workloads running over here. And so I'm hoping I can go ahead and just complete the setup. And it says, for optimal AWS uh, Auditor Manager Experience, specify an existing SNS topic. Don't really care about that. Um, and then down below here, we have frameworks or control libraries. Let's go take a look at our frameworks. And so we have a bunch here. Um, so basically just, it looks really similar to Security Hub. Um, but, cause like Security Hub allows you to select controls. Um, and um, again, these are just services on top of AWS config to, to do stuff. But yeah, like what the heck's the difference between this and Security Hub? Give me a second here. All right, so it looks like that this might be suggesting that there's an assessment on top of this and uh, AWS Auto Manager can source from Security Hub, which uh, underneath is using, um, uh, which is using, you know, compliance stuff. So what I might do just so that we kind of have um, uh, similar information that might already exist, I'm gonna go look at Security Hub and see what I'm already using here. Cause I know I have something turned on. I'm supposed to be North Virginia. I'm not sure why it says Ohio. I want to be over here. So try this again. And in here, let me give this a moment to load. I'm using the CIS AWS Foundation Benchmark. So I'm gonna to try to stick with something similar here. And this was what level what? This is 1.20, 1, 1 doesn't say what level it is. So I'll just choose level one and two here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create custom framework here, say my framework. And we'll go next. And my control set. And we'll go standard. And so that's basically the controls. So I have to select them. I guess I do. So I'll just select these like this. So we'll go next. You must add at least one control to the control set. You can add up to 25 custom controls. Yeah, I just added more than one. <laughs> Did I add too many maybe? You must add at least one control to the control set. I did. Custom controls, standard controls. Oh, you know what? I think I actually have to hit the add control set button. Terrible UI, I'm sure they'll change it soon on us. And we'll go ahead and hit custom create framework. And so that framework is creating. We'll go back over to here and we're already starting to get results as I assume that it probably is utilizing the same controls underneath. So let's go over to assessments because I think this is the real value here. And if we click into here, I guess we have our assessment. Okay, so I guess it just creates one automatically. Under review, can we go into here? Uh, so what I'm trying to make sense of here, okay, I, I guess what it's doing is it's itemizing things for you and then you can go in and you can review them manually. So that kind of makes sense. Um, so I guess it takes it a step further than what Security Hub does. Okay. All right. Oh, can you can add evidence? All right, that makes sense to me. So basically you are using controls, the controls continuously monitor and you have assessments on top of it. Um, and then I guess it can also collect evidence for your assessments, um, which would be very useful. Um, if, not, if this doesn't look any anything familiar to you, then um, uh, basically when you use something like, uh, I've seen this before when you're doing something like uh, uh, say SOC 2 compliance or ISO, whatever it is, um, 
a lot of times they'll give you a checklist and then you have to go collect evidence or manually report it to show that you're compliant. And so this is kind of what the AWS Audit Manager is doing. Um, I'm not sure if AWS Audit Manager is supposed to compete with those other services. I guess it really depends on what framework you're utilizing here. Let's go back and take a look at the, the framework library um, because yeah, we have PCI, well, we have PCI there, but yeah, there's SOC two. So I guess you could use this and this is basically a competitor for other services. So like you say SOC two audit software, right? Like Vanta or stuff like that. So I suppose that you have overlap here, but normally um, just having SOC two in here is not enough. You actually need to have a third party provider that will um, uh, review it. Um, so I guess the idea is that let's say you wanted to become SOC 2 compliant, you go through here, add this framework, create the assessment, collect the evidence, fill, fill it manually, show that you're being SOC 2 compliant, um, but you still have to work with a third party, right? Because again, you can't just do this yourself. You have to pay somebody to uh, have a level of it, but maybe there's an organization where they say, can you just make sure you're SOC 2 compliant, but we're not necessarily asking you to be compliant to the level that we need to have someone else do that with you. So I think that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this assessment since we're done here. I'm gonna go back to the framework library and I'm gonna delete the framework that we have here. But now I'm starting to get it. So basically, yeah, as the name implies, it's an AWS audit manager. And so you could use this to uh, bring frameworks and collect stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, I get it. All right, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.